Naomi and I have a double whammy for you today. We're not only making choc chip cookies, yes. but we're sandwiching this with... Vanilla ice cream. Oh, I mean, this is just delicious. Crunchy, cold ice cream. Kids love it. Old ones love it too. Absolutely. <laughs> and you can make these as simple yep. or as decadent as you want. So today we're doing the super simple version mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the kids. And then, depending on what the adults like, you can be switching this over with a beautiful, uh, you know, rum and raisin ice cream oh. or put some, you know, caramelised pecans inside. So we... You can do anything, but today we'll show you the simple, quick and easy. Okay. And ice cream, I guess we can probably start with that first. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, we are doing a cheats ice cream to begin with okay. because, you know, this is something if you want to do it quite um, quite quickly. Yeah. We've just got cream, milk and condensed milk are the basics and some vanilla in this recipe. And then you've got one cup of cream, so just a pure cream. Okay. And then just the condensed milk. So there's no additional sugar because the condensed milk is sweet enough. Right. So you won't need to add, it, add any extra into that. I've actually never done an ice cream like this without any eggs. No. Usually lots of egg yolks. And it's also good if you do have um, a child with an egg intolerance, this is another good way to make an ice cream. Okay. So some vanilla. Now we're using an ice cream bowl attachment. So this one goes into the freezer for about 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So and this one's just come out, hasn't yep, it? So, so we've pulled this one out. Okay. All right, and that Perfect. looks about right. Okay. All right, so just turning the mixer on to the slower speed first. Mm -hmm. And pouring it through the chute. Okay, so basically, just it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes, and it does depend on how cold the ingredients are. Yeah. So making sure that your ingredients are all super cold, your ice cream bowl is frozen solid, and then that way, the, so that's the fastest way to get your ice cream freezing. All right. Okay, that is wow. already. So see what I mean about how cold the ingredients are? And you get that mixing really fast. And it's beautiful. We've got ice cream. We just have to chill it now even more. Now, if you wanted to, mm -hmm. this is where you could add in some, um, some extra chocolate chips or some honeycomb, anything you want. Um. All right, so now what we want to do is keep this in the freezer and just get it a tiny bit harder mm -hmm. while we make the cookies. Mm -hmm. So look how much it's made. So that's made about a litre. No, you have to try this too. Sure, no problem. <laughs> oh, you're going to try it from there. Straight from there. Do you want me to do that? Yep. And the reason why I put it into the loaf tin is to make it easier to scoop to go onto the cookies afterwards. It's delicious. And you're right, no sugar required because of the condensed milk. Mm -hmm. That makes it quite sweet. Yum, love it. Okay, so popping that in. That goes into the freezer like that. Mm -hmm. I'll do that for you. And we'll get the mixer ready now for the cookies. Okay. And the bowl. Oh, there we go. So for this recipe, we've got 160 grams of room temperature butter. Mm -hmm. And the sugars, we've got two thirds of a cup of caster sugar and two thirds of a cup of soft brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So popping those in. Oh. <laughs> it was soft. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we're just going to cream this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's just starting off on a lower speed mm -hmm. until it starts to combine and then we increase the speed. Mm -hmm. Now, because of the scraper, we won't take as long, so just a couple of minutes on the creaming of the butter and sugar. Okay. So increase that speed. Okay. We'll get the eggs ready. So we need two eggs. And do you want me to crack them in, yes, in the bowl? Please. Perfect. Okay, so just turning this down, just while we add the eggs in. Mm -hmm. One at a time, One always. at a time, just mm -hmm. letting them incorporate in through the mixture. Okay. Right. And then lastly, now we've measured this out, so this is just two cups of flour. And again, just nice and slowly. And self-raising flour for this? Self-raising flour, yeah. Beautiful. All right. And we're just missing this until mm -hmm. it incorporates. Okay, great. It's really quick and easy. Now we've just got um, 160 grams of finely chopped dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So use a nice quality chocolate for that one. So we'll just mm. give that a stir. Now I've got a tablespoon measure and the best way to do it because with the cookies you want to have them all evenly you know, size so that you're sandwiching two cookies together. So if you round that off, yep. that's the perfect amount. So 
Squish your little finger out of there. Okay. And just place them on just like so. Just placing them out. Another thing that you can do is you can make these in advance mm -hmm. if you wanted to bake them off fresh. So if you're doing a nice cookie, um, but don't want to cook them off, you know, if you're having people over tomorrow and you want to have nice fresh ones, make the dough in advance and pop it in the fridge. Okay. And then you just go. And I guess if you could put them in the fridge, you could also put them in the freezer yes. if you want to do big batches of them. Raw too. cookie dough will freeze really well in the freezer. Just make sure that you don't tell the family because mm. they will eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bake them in the oven. What temperature? Yeah, we're going to bake them 200 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. So just keeping an eye on the different oven temperatures, making sure that um, you just check them about eight minutes and just maybe even turn the trays around if you need to. Perfect. Cool. Okay, our ice cream is set Perfect. perfectly. Okay, so we can peel this one off. Mm -hmm. All right, so how about we just do three? Sure. So we'll match up our cookies. And this is where it all gets very exciting. Yes. Especially getting the kids involved in this. They love this, the whole sure. concept of getting that ice cream, sandwiching that together. So like I said, our ice cream's still soft because we do want to squish it. Mm -hmm. And these will go back in the freezer. Okay, and then just literally squish it down. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> and you can smooth these off depending on how neat you want to be. You could put sprinkles around the edges. <laughs> they look so good. Okay. Beautiful. Lucky last. How about that? There we go. Quick and easy. You know exactly everything that's in it, and um, the kids will love you. Yeah, and <laughs> totally yummy. And again, going back to the whole textural thing and, and those senses that we have, mm -hmm. cold ice cream, the crunchiness of the cookie, it's a win-win and oh, can't wait to tackle one of those. You and I, we've got one each and a half. Sounds good. <laughs>